Now, in this part of the question then we're given f of x equals x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6 and asked to factorise it. Well already we've seen that in the first part of the question that x plus 2 was a factor of f of x. So in other words what we already know is that f of x is equal to x plus 2 multiplied by another factor. Now this other factor is going to be what is often called a quadratic factor. It's going to have an x squared in it so that x times x squared will start to give us the x cubed. There'll be an x term and a constant in the end here. And one way that you can work out what this quadratic factor is is by dividing both sides of this equation by x plus 2. So in other words what you've got is that the quadratic factor x squared plus whatever is going to be equal to f of x divided by x plus 2. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that quadratic factor. So over here I'm going to be saying for the quadratic factor let's just give the reader some idea what we're attempting to do. So we have that as a kind of subtitle there. I need to divide x plus 2 into f of x. So I will do this by algebraic long division. So I'll take you through that. We've got x plus 2 into f of x. So just copy that down. x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6. Now to do algebraic long division what we need to do is just say what do we multiply x by then to get us x cubed and that would be x squared. So put x squared up there and multiply x squared with x plus 2 and you get x cubed plus 2x squared and that goes down underneath here x cubed plus 2x squared. We then subtract these two to find the remainder so 4x squared minus plus 2x squared is going to be 2x squared and x cubed minus x cubed well that gives us 0. What we do next is bring the x down so we put plus x here and then we start all over again. What do you multiply x by to give 2x squared? So that's going to be plus 2x. So put that up there. And then we do 2x times x plus 2. So 2x times x is 2x squared. That goes there. 2x times the 2 is 4x. And that goes underneath. And we subtract again to find the remainder. So 2x squared minus 2x squared, that's nothing. And then we have x minus plus 4x, which is going to be minus 3x. Finally, bring down the minus 6. There you go. What do you multiply x by to get minus 3x? And it's going to be minus 3. So put that up the top there. And we do minus 3 times x plus 2, giving us minus 3x. And then minus 3 times the 2 is minus 6. And as you can see, we end up with the same thing here and here, so that when we subtract, we get no remainder. And that's what we would expect anyway. So obviously, if we didn't get 0, we would know that we've made a mistake through here. So obviously, we go back and check it. But we've got 0, so that's good. So in summary, what does that mean? Well, it tells us now that therefore f of x is going to be identical to x plus 2 multiplied by our quadratic factor. And the quadratic factor is going to be x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now the question said factorize f of x completely. And when it says completely, it often means that this quadratic factor will factorize again. So what we'll do is we'll put down our x plus 2 and if we factorize the quadratic factor we're going to have a couple of brackets like so be an x and an x and then looking closely it'll be plus 3 and minus 1 if you check that out you should get x squared plus 2x minus 3 okay so we have f of x then expressed as a product of three linear factors as we often call it f of x is now factorized completely. 
Okay, so that brings us to the end now of this part of the question.